Learning VR development from tutorials is a great thing, but not a lot of people know that you can actually also learn from open source projects. And lucky for you, I've kept a list of the best ones that I've seen over the years. And in this video, I'm finally going to show it to you guys. So without further ado, here are the best open source Unity VR projects. Oh, and by the way, you will find where to download them in the description below, as well as you guessed it, the link to my Patreon if you want to support my work and get access to all the source code of my tutorials as well as some exclusive content. Okay, so I guess the name of the first game on our list is a good fit because it is called First Hand. Now, First Hand is the official hand tracking demo built by Meta. In this game, you can interact directly with your hands, use switches, levers, buttons, and solve puzzles to build robotic gloves that will give you super powers. Now, the game was built using the Meta Unity SDK, of course, as well as their additional toolkit, the Interaction SDK. If you don't know, the Interaction SDK is a toolkit that we covered previously on this channel and that allows you to interact with both controller and hand tracking with Grab, Poke, Ray. Now, I guess that downloading this project and having a look at its source code will give you a great example at how you can build this type of game on your own. You can play the game directly on App Lab or download the complete project on GitHub with the link you will find down below. Okay, so the next project on our list is another project by Meta, but this time not focusing on hand tracking, but on mixed reality. And it is a world beyond. Now, this simple project was released to demonstrate the presence SDK from Meta when it was released for the Quest 2. Basically, you will meet in mixed reality a strange creature named Opie. You will be able to move the character, which is a great way to demonstrate how to use nav mesh in mixed reality, and even use your voice to give some comment. Opie, come here, come. Now, this project is a great demonstration at how you can blend virtual and real world to create immersive experience. Even if it was made a while ago for the Quest 2, there are still lots to learn from this one. You can play it on App Lab or GitHub as always. But wait, because Meta did not stop there, I present to you another mixed reality sample called Fento. So this project is a bit more recent than the previous one, as it was made for the Quest 3. You basically have some ghosts that spawn in your room and that you will need to fight. But what I love about this project is of course the aesthetic of the game, but that it also features really advanced mixed reality stuff which are not talked by a lot of people yet. Like scene mesh, object placement, AI navigation, depth occlusion, haptics, and the list goes on. Okay, so these were projects made by Meta to showcase their Meta Unity SDK, which you can use to build mixed reality game. But what about Unity own SDK, the XR Interaction Toolkit? And the answer is this sample project, the XR Interaction Toolkit example. Now, you might remember this project from a previous video that I made on this channel, where I share with you everything that it contains. Basically, this is a pretty scene where a particular feature of the SDK is demonstrated on each table. I really like this project for its simplicity. It will straight to the point show you how you can tweak VR interaction like grab, poke, raise, snap, to end grab, continuous movement, teleportation, and more. But of course, you are right. This is not really a game compared to the other project. This is more of an example scene. But did you know that Unity actually made one a while ago, which was called VR Beginner, the escape room. Now, the project is still available on the asset store. In this game, you are trapped in the witch hut, but you can get out by making some potion and solving some small interactive puzzle. In the same way as before, this is to showcase the interaction of the Unity XR Toolkit, but what's good about this one is its simplicity. So it's a very good project if you are a beginner compared to the previous one, which are a bit complicated. They even made a step-by-step -step guide on how you should explore this project to better understand it. But while I believe it is still a great learning resource, unfortunately, it is a bit outdated now. But worry no more because I have a solution for you. Okay, so I present to you guys our next game, Space Scraper. In this game, you are stuck in a spaceship that has no more fuel. But one day, you find a meteor which might contain an energy source that could turn the engine back on. Now, I know this project very well because it was made by a certain Valem Tutorials. Maybe you've heard of this channel before. And if you don't, this is actually a game that I turned into a step-by-step -step tutorials. One of the biggest projects that I've made and which I'm super happy about. Now, the good news is that it still works to this day. And thanks to the step-by-step -step tutorial, anyone can replicate it. So the source code is not really open source, but you can get access to it by simply joining an awesome community of 700 members on my Patreon. Link in the description. But let's move on to our next project. Okay, so maybe you didn't expect this one to figure on the list, but our next game is Tilt Brush. 
That's right, the Google VR game where you can draw is available for you to learn from on GitHub. So Tilt Brush was actually one of the first VR games that I've played, so I was super happy when Google decided to make it available publicly. This game was actually made with Unity and of course is super outdated as it's using an old version of the VR SDK. But I mean, the game was a technical challenge, so if you want to see how the team at Google managed to handle this challenge to create one of VR's first best experience, go ahead, the link is in the description. So I guess that with this previous project, we have an infinite resource to learn from, but I still want to share with you some other samples which are a bit smaller, but focused on a more specific feature. And that's the case for the VR Alchemy Lab. So this one is a project made by Unity to showcase the HDRP with VR. It is a bit old, I know, but if you are looking into making a VR game look as realistic as possible with the HDRP, this might help. Next, we also have Move Fast, a short application by Meta, which is made to showcase how to make fast-moving hand-tracking fitness app. The rhythm gameplay is really well done, and I guess it can give you some idea on how you can build your own VR rhythm game yourself. Another more specific project is Whisperer, a project made by Meta to demonstrate voice recognition. Move closer to me. Because if you did not know, you can actually use your voice to trigger a command in your VR game. And because I know that some of you are struggling with VR and multiplayer, here is a great sample, again made by Meta, called Ultimate Glove Ball. This is a multiplayer competitive dodgeball game, which was built to demonstrate the Oculus Social Platform API, and which is using a combination of Photon Real-Time as the transport layer and Unity netcode for game objects. And there you go, guys. These were my best open source VR Unity projects. As you can see, plenty of stuff to learn from, but I found it so much fun to understand what lies behind some of the games that we love to play. Of course, there are more simple projects than the one that I'm showing you here. Some, for example, that are not VR, but still very interesting but also some other made by not giant corporation like Unity or Meta, but people like you and me kind enough to share their work. So feel free to complete this list with your suggestion in the comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. You can leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, or even support my work on Patreon if you want to get access to the source code of all of my tutorials and exclusive content. Thank you for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye.